What is up Gothamites? Welcome to a brand new Gotham video and this is my Q&A. So this is going to be, I'm guessing, quite a long video. I don't even know how long it's going to be. I'm going to try and get through as many questions as I can. I'm probably going to edit it down for time. Who knows? But regardless, 175 questions have been submitted. I've got my phone here. Um, I've hearted my the favorite ones I'm going to answer. I'm going to, As I said, I'm going to see if I can get through all of them. But, you know, I'm going to try my best. Obviously, we've just had a New York Comic Con panel where we've just learned loads of stuff. Some of you have posted a couple of questions here, but I did ask this beforehand. So I'm probably going to do another Gotham Season 5 Q&A, especially as Gotham is, well, let's just say it's quite a while, a while away, even though we haven't got a concrete date yet. But we'll get to that in one of these questions, I'm sure. But anyway, guys, um, before I get into the questions and answer some of your questions, uh, be sure to subscribe for more Gotham updates and other comic book nerdy videos check out some, some of my other videos in the cards above um, and like this video if you want to see more Q&A's just like this okay so the first question is from Aaron McVie I'm sorry if I pronounce your names wrong by the way just in advance to everybody uh, could Gotham possibly get picked up for a sixth season uh, by Netflix um, obviously I'm not uh, working for Gotham or anything like that so this is just what I truly like think feel in my gut and understand from my knowledge of the show and and some of the goings on uh is that no it, it really won't like they've called it uh gotham's fifth and final season for a reason i know there's theories and uh fan theories out there or people i i get hope right like people freaking love this show i love this show some people love it even more than me and they really want it to continue heck i would love it to continue as well in some way or another uh because some people are saying maybe what if bruce is you know batman maybe they can make into a batman show but honestly guys i think the gotham universe the, the curtains being closed on it i can't confirm that but you know for example i got asked a question yesterday i replied to a comment on my latest video and they're like what's the uh latest what what do you reckon the chances of it being picked up are and i'm just like one percent i i didn't want to put zero because what if i'm proven wrong but yeah i, I i'm sorry I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I can't confirm it, but that's just my belief. The next question is, will Penguin ever use a damn umbrella again? And that's from A Beating Heart of Stone. Um, you would have to think so. I think he's wearing a, a friend of mine uh, on Discord, and she's done some amazing artwork for me, by the way. And I'm going to be doing a somewhat of a comic book review of her comic. Just a little plug here. Uh, and I'll be applying that art to my channel very, very soon. She said uh, at the end of the Gotham Season 5 little sizzle reel that we got, that Penguin, when you see, like, Jim, and everyone shooting at what I believe to be Bane coming at everyone. Uh, I could be wrong there. I probably am wrong. I don't know. Um, you see Penguin, Riddler, Jim. Uh, God, I'm probably forgetting someone. But anyway, she pointed out she pointed out that uh, Penguin's wearing his season one glasses. So who knows? Uh, what, will he get his umbrella again? Sure. Like Penguin, this is the fifth and final season. We're even getting a freaking 10 year time jump. Man, I cannot wait to see what they do with Penguin and characters like that in terms of traditional... Uh, character, you know, features like the Penguin. Like, will we get the Monaco in 10 years? Will Bruce freaking break off? I don't know. You know what I mean. But yes, I would like to think that he would use his umbrella again. So this next question is from Red Eric 101 and he asked, do you really think they're only going to have 10 episodes? Now, this was submitted a week ago before we found actually before we find out that we actually are from John Stevens. Seriously, I think that they're going to pour a surprise 18, 20, or maybe even 22 episodes on us. There's no way they can get through all of those villains in 10. Uh, unfortunately, guys, it has been quite literally confirmed that it's 10 episodes in season five. Uh, I, I think there's a question somewhere down here as well. I'm sure I'll get to it about it being longer episodes. Uh, but... Yeah, 10 episodes. Uh, as for villains, you know, uh, are the, how are they going to get through all those villains? I don't know. Um... That is something I'm not concerned about, but a little bit apprehensive. But the thing is, they have, unfortunately, as of when I'm actually filming this video, like right now, earlier a few hours ago, they announced that I couldn't actually quite believe this. Out of all the villains, they would drop. Really? Um, anyway, they've actually announced that they've dropped uh, the Ventriloquist. I can't remember if it was anyone else. I really hope that they aren't doing Man Bat, for example, still. Uh, because I think I would have wanted to see the Ventriloquist more. They have been gunning for that since day one. I know Danny Cannon has. Uh, but they did say there would be Easter eggs throughout like the 10 episodes for the person that is becoming the Ventriloquist. For example, maybe Mr. Penn and stuff like that. Uh, so I, I'm really gutted about that. I'm really gutted about it. They said like every time they tried to write it in, it, for some reason in the episode, it just got squeezed out. Unfortunately, guys, these things do happen. And as this question, you know, infers or just asks anyway, they are squeezing a shite ton into season five. 
Uh, so I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news there as well, uh, but you know. Okay, so Lethal Paradox asked, do you think that Bruce will have a full Batman suit uh, by the finishing point of the series? Now, this was asked a week ago as well. And this is quite good because we can kind of like rehash stuff from the New York Comic Con panel. Uh, and for those who might not even be knowing of that knowledge of, that, of what I'm answering right now, what am I on about? Uh, but yes, we have learned that, well, we have learned that Bruce, for example, in the 10th episode, uh, it's going to be set 10 years in the future. So that will be featuring Batman 100%, 100%. Still a mystery if it's going to be a recasting. I wish they clarified that, to be honest, because I don't see why they wouldn't clarify that. Because if they're going to announce a 10-year time jump, just let us know. They would know by now if they're recasting just for that episode or if they're going to do some weird technology stuff with David Mizzou's, uh as well as practical stuff. Um, but yeah, full-on Batman is coming. A Batman suit is coming. Uh, but as for before episode 10... I think we're going to see a, a few steps there, definitely. Um, maybe newbie, zero year kind of costume costume or suit, but for sure we're getting a full Batman suit. So Anne Mensch asks, any hope for Two-Face to show up? So, um, like baseline, like bottom line, no. But I've always said, like with my theories as well, of like how we would be getting a time jump. No way did I think it would be 10 years, but I thought they could do a montage of things like very very quickly and this would be perfect in the 10 year uh, episode uh, which is episode 10 um that they somehow cameo these villains or they show harvey Dent, or they get another actor in and i don't know or it's on the news um you know they're doing like a freaking you know oh two Face has done this and then bruce just jumps off the roof do you know what i mean there could be stuff like that but we're not gonna get the harvey Dent actor back uh stuff like that unfortunately well I, I i know i'm talking as if i work on the show but i'm very sure about that so charlie york asked me who do you prefer jerome or jeremiah now this is actually one of the, my most asked questions whether it's in live streams comments or whatever um and i always say why are you asking me that it's just more the fact that I know people do have a preference uh, just based on like, oh man, Jerome, amazing, amazing, amazing. However, for me, it's more like uh, Jeremiah has only had literally a handful of episodes. So, you know, for me, it hasn't been proven. Of course, as I will say, like baseline impulsive answer is, yeah, Jerome was awesome. He who ha ha ha. That, I love that Joker like vibe. But, you know, I, I still feel like you can't compare Jeremiah just yet. It's too premature, but that's just me. Uh, so I kind of did give you an answer there, but at the same time, I was kind of like, well, given f a few seasons more, which we're not going to get of Jeremiah, but maybe I could make my mind up next season. I would maybe say Jeremiah, but I guess I can't really mega decide yet. Lethal Paradox asks, do you think that they will make an episode on the future of Gotham to end the series? Yes, we've already answered that one. Ten years in the future. Uh, you know, as this is just proof that was submitted a week ago, we were all thinking that there would be some kind of time jump. So yes, 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 we're getting a full century Batman s kind of mother freaking episode. Be excited for it. Now this is an interesting question. Uh, Red Eric asks me, uh, Red Eric 101, do you think the actual Joker is coming, and will Bruce go up against the Riddler? So the actual Joker, guys, what does Red Eric mean by that? I'm sure some of you know, some of you may also be saying, but Jeremiah is the actual Joker. What are you on about? Technically, there is a massive motherfucking confuffle in Gotham overall in the sense of they have quite literally stated in the interview, showrunner John Stevens himself, uh, kind of infamous for going here with an answer and then going there and walking it back. No disrespect to the bloke at all. Uh, you know, I'm sure if I worked on a show or something like that, I would be saying things that I might not be able to, you know, it's very complicated, licensing, blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that, now they might, for we know, get a bit more leeway, so they might be like with Jeremiah, hey, let's try and give him more Joker vibes. You know, they have quite literally stated that Jeremiah is not the Joker, the Penguin, Mad Hatter, Scarecrow, uh, the Riddler, they're all who they are, but Jeremiah and uh, Jerome are just inspirations for the man who we know is out there. This is a paraphrase of a quote. Um, however, it's just confusing. So <laughs> I guess what I try to say is in season five, are we going to get him? Personally, my best hope is that they're sweeping the inspiration arc, like that statement within itself, plus the TV screens in season two of when Jerome died, plus, uh, you know, all that stuff. You know, the statement within itself is pretty accurate of saying how Jeremiah twins, uh, the Valeska twins aren't the Joker. Um, but I think they just, if they sweep that under the rug and they just infer that... They just don't address it and they just infer that J Jeremiah is the Joker and Harley, sorry, uh, Echo, who is so blatantly being um, 
shoved in the direction with the costume, the makeup. We've got a white picture of a face, you know, makeup style, uh, mimicking Jeremiah's look next season. Uh, check the video up there if you haven't seen it. It's yesterday's video. Well, the last video of Gotham. So, you know, I just hope they don't address the inspiration. They just make this a new canon in Gotham where this guy's the Joker. But if the actual Joker is coming, this is very dangerous. If they decided to do that, that means Jeremiah would have to die in the last, well, episode 9, and then the time jump would happen, and we would have already a Joker, or in the 10th episode, where Bruce becomes, is already Batman, sorry, he's 28 years old, because he's 18 in season 5, uh, 10 year time jump in uh, episode 10 of season 5, so they could actually feature in that episode, the actual, uh, you know, John Smith, for example, becoming, um, or Jack Nappy, whoever, you, you know, you will, uh, falling in Ace Chemicals indirectly because Bruce was stopping the Red Hood gang or something mimicking the killing joke in a way. They could go different ways. I don't know the answer. I've given you what I think should happen. Um, but yeah, it's just, <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. I think people are going to be pissed off either way. You can't please everyone. So Herkbot asks, in season five, do you think Sophia Falcone will return? Personally, no offense to Crystal Reed, I hope not. And I don't think she will unless she's something, uh, you know, that random ass theory that she's mother, which I, I don't think, but that was kind of a cool theory and how obviously she did open an orphanage and then, you know, that uh, last, you know, season four scenes of all those villains were like a load of dolls, like in an orphanage and something like that. But come on, really, does fear just wake up from that point blank bullet wound coma and become this random ass weird lady? I don't know. But bottom line, I hope not. We've got so much other shit to tackle. Now, this question is obviously just addressing Jeremiah, like, if he is going to be the Joker, I guess. Uh, so Lola T asked me six days ago, if it's Jeremiah that falls in the chemicals, what will change about him? He already has the look. Will it change his mind? Will it push him over the edge into the manic insanity that Jerome was? Um, I've discussed this so many times. I, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. I 100% agree. Um... With what they've done, this is where you have to be, you know, really thoughtful in how you think they will do the Joker if you're thinking it's Jeremiah because the the, the, the Ace Chemicals, which is episode 7 after all, guys, titled Ace Chemicals, is if he were to fall in that chemical pit in a Killing Joke style origin story for the Joker, it would do nothing for him. He's got the white stained skin from the box that, you know, Scarecrow, well, you know, Jer Jerome got off Scarecrow, blah, 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 the, the, the cosmetic defects and all that uh, stuff. So what is the point? Um, I don't know. Uh, a, a popular th fan theory at the minute is um, that Echo might fall in and somehow she will be more lunatic -y, uh, along with Jeremiah. Um, so with your theory, will he become more like Jerome? I guess it's a possibility, but I d I'm just going to say no because that would just be underwhelming. Oh, wow, he falls in the pit and he's a bit more loony. Wow, Gotham. Do you know what I mean? That's not a big... Thing. And I think they've gone too far down the road now to, to go back. Like, it's already been fenced off. This is what they've done with Jeremiah now. But yet, the fascinating thing is that they're still doing an Ace Chemicals thing. We don't know what it is. Could be nothing. But it, but it could be something because we don't know. So it's fascinating. I really don't know. I really, really don't know. Uh, so And if they did actually put Jeremiah Valeska in a, you know, a chemical vat, holy shit would I be fascinated if i learned that right now i would be thinking well what the heck is it going to do to change him what the living f is it going to do to change him that he's not already crazy i don't know that's why i'm thinking maybe he won't fall in and maybe the echo thing is true but even so i think if echo falls in it's just like cool but like you know are you really like fulfilled like amazingly with that story i don't know maybe maybe it would sound more look more impressive on screen to me but Every option I'm thinking of right now just feels like you went about it the wrong way, Gotham, you know? And we all know that in a sense anyway of this whole inspiration thing. We're just gonna have to wait and see. I'm sorry I didn't give you a great answer for that. So Reese Taylor asks me, do you think that there will be any Gotham references uh, on the Batwoman TV show? So if you did, guys didn't know, I will be covering the Batwoman TV show for sure. I'm sure with like this current audience right now, I'm sh well, not all of you may be into it, but some of you may be watching that and stick around for my reviews but you know in terms of like this question it would be like a really meta kind of easter egg but those universes aren't connected in whatsoever way the cw's uh you know gotham that batwoman will be in uh which you know it does sound quite promising no matter what you think about the cw you fox gotham fans um but yeah then you've got the fox universe which is completely different it's closing down in my opinion um 
but yeah, as you said, references, not canonical. If there was, there might just be some kind of weird ass tribute Easter egg, but I would be so surprised if they include that in there. Uh, but ultimately, no. One Legged Ninja asked me, How do you think season 5 will end? I personally think that Bruce will defeat the villain, then it will show the real Joker watching over him from afar. And by the way, I'll answer that in a second. I just remembered, Will Bruce, I, I completely ignored the question earlier by accident saying, uh, Will Bruce go up against the Riddler? Definitely for sure, I think, in season 5 um, in the current timeline, uh, because it is based on Zero Year. Riddler will be doing something in a couple of episodes because they can't dedicate too much to him. And I think Bruce will have some kind of scene with Riddler and maybe have some kind of face-off to a degree. But anyway, to, I, I'm, I do apologize for that. And I hope you got this far so that you know that I answered your question. But back to this one. How do I think it will end? Um, and you know, you think it will end with the Joker watching over Bruce from afar after he defeats the villain in episode 10? That could be possible if they're not doing the Jerome thing. It could end with, as I said, like the killing joke kind of like it could be a Batman centric episode with our characters 10 years in the future. Ace Chemical, well, I don't know. Joker could be born, who knows, and could be watching over him from afar. I know as much as you, my friend. Uh, I really can't imagine what they're going to do with Bruce as a 28 year old established 10 years in the making batman naomi edge asked me will we ever see jim gordon as police commissioner boba um definitely i i think that he might be made uh commissioner i know this is kind of suny in a way but uh by sh for sure in episode 10 he'll be commissioner but i wouldn't be surprised after defending freaking gotham in no man's land in episode 9 whenever that kind of resolves when a government come back in um, that they don't already make him commissioner because he has done so much for the city as it is and staying in Gotham, fighting off Bane, all of the sectors one by one, controlled by various different villains. Man, give that guy a medal for crying out loud. Uh, so, you know, yeah, for sure. If not in episode nine in the current timeline, 10 years down the line, of course, we've got to see that. So Brandon Slayer asked me just to clarify again, I guess one week ago, how do you think that they will do Scarface and the Ventriloquist? Unfortunately, they're not. As I said, Easter eggs. So I'm hoping we might see someone like Mr. Penn or whoever's playing the ventriloquist say, oh, like, you know, look at what I built, Penguin. You know, this is my, you know, dummy or something like that. And let alone it's the Scarface. But that, that might be as good as we get. We'll have to wait and see. So Stop Motion Master asked me, do you think that Bane will team up with Jeremiah? And who do you think is more obsessed with Bruce, Jerome, or Jeremiah? Um... As for the first question, do I think that Bane will team up with Jeremiah? No. Uh, Bane is going to be an old friend of Jim's and it's going to go haywire along the way. I'm sure he's going to have his own ideals about bringing his soldiers to Gotham and how to clean up Gotham and take control of it as an opportunity maybe. But I think he's going to think of Jeremiah and people like that as freaks and people in his way. Um, and as for who do you think is more obsessed with Bruce Wayne, uh, Jer Jerome or Jeremiah, who was or who is? Uh, Jeremiah for sure. Jerome was... Yeah, he went back to Bruce, but he wasn't obsessed with him. But Jeremiah has been quite literally said that he wants to prove his love to Bruce this season. Uh, but that's one thing that he feels like he's been successful in everything else. But it's one thing that's been nagging him during him as a you know like this bogeyman in season five uh, between season four, and that is that he wants you know to prove to Bruce that he loves him. Camera cut out there, but yeah, prove to him that he's his best friend in a very skewed twisted way. Seldale Gaming asked me, uh, do you think that Selina and Bruce will be separate or continue be to be friends? Uh, there's gonna be a lot of messed up stuff with Selina this season uh, that will separate her from Bruce, but Bruce is gonna be trying to kind of twist it, bring her back around, but that old Selina is apparently gone, gone, gone. Um, so ultimately, I think Selina Kyle is gonna definitely be that kind of closed door, closed off doors Catwoman that we know, uh, kind of hard to break through the wall. We've already seen that with Selina, but she definitely opened up towards Bruce a lot more in season four. Um, you know, very much so back catty in that season, but it's gonna be completely reversed now. Uh, and who knows what it's gonna be like in uh, 10 years time. I reckon that would be very interesting to see, but you know, I think they won't necessarily be separate, but they're definitely not gonna be like, Bat Catty season four, uh, apparently from what we've heard, you know, because Selena's going to go through this uh, suicide attempt in episode one. She's going to be completely changed. Uh, so Thomas Legay asked me, uh, rank your top three characters. You are most looking forward to seeing their character advancements in season five. Man, I hate being put on the spot. I really do. Um, geez. I guess like Penguin is my favorite villain. 
But I don't know how much he's going to advance. Oh man, this is what I mean. I can I will spend ages doing this. I guess I'm interested on in seeing how Jeremiah does, obviously, and how because we've seen some very much in more Joker pictures, like his eyebrows have been made more like sinister and things like that. But obviously, I'm not talking about appearances here necessarily. Uh, but they said that Jeremiah is going to be more. Uh, we're going to see like a slightly more unhinged version rather than that chilling Bruce approach, you know. Uh, so, yeah, obviously Jeremiah for sure. Uh, I'm of, of course, I'm excited to see how Bruce Wayne, this is the season where he becomes Batman. Uh, so, yeah, I'm excited to see how he develops. But, um, I mean, I guess all of them. I don't want to just name three. It's just such a hard question to answer for me because I love all the characters. So, they're going to be going through so many changes and advancements this season. So, I'm sorry that wasn't a proper answer to your question. So, Noah Fridman asked me, do you think that any of the big characters will die? Definitely. Um, I think, well, I, I guess this kind of links into the next question. Uh, Matthias Matthias asked me, John Stevens talked about a redemption story for Barbara. What do you think? Uh, I think because apparently John Stevens said, well, he did say this that she's going to come throughout all of her transitions and different roles. She started off as an art gallery kind of person in season one, and now look at her. Uh, she's going to be a hero by the end of season five. So I think she might die a hero. And yes, the, like what everyone has been saying for years, how or why would Jim Gordon call his daughter uh, ba ba Barbara in um, this version of the Gotham canon or whatever? Um, how is that going to happen? Because are they really, really going to remove like Barbara Gordon in this continuity? Not like it's unlikely, but yet again, how would, how and why would he call his daughter Barbara? And everyone, and the most obvious thing to think about is that if she dies in a very sacrificial, heroic kind of way, he might call his daughter Barbara after her. Uh, as I said, it, they would have to really sell that to me because no matter what, even if Barbara did do a good thing, you don't really name your daughter still after somebody who's done all the shit over the past five or four, four or five years. But um, that might actually be the case. Unfortunately, it's kind of predictable, but who knows? They might surprise us and not do that. What do I think of the hero thing? You know what? I think it... I think it does fit it ultimately in the end. Like, Barbara has shown good traits. She has been, like, very wacky over the years. She's been through so much. Ultimately, she has been shown to be very good at the very deep down core. Uh, she's been very complicated in her character development. She's triggered many fans. I'm not going to say that it hasn't been bad moments, of course. But I think, yeah, I think the best thing they could do, I guess is kind of not make her the most perfect hero, but if she does go out, make her like, keep her as Barbara is what we know, like, at the end of season four, kind of, unfortunately, in my opinion, like, and a lot of other people's opinions, because she's like, kill all the men and stuff, I don't really like that vibe, but I don't think she, well, she is still going to be like that in season five, but if she's got to go out, make her still kind of rough and gruffy, but make her do something good as she goes out, you know, like, whether it's saving Jim or something like that, I don't know. Maybe she saves Lee for we know. That would be very interesting. I get asked this one quite frequently as well. Uh, if they only do 10 episodes, could they do longer episodes then? Uh, this from uh, XX Jacob XX. Uh, no, it kind of, in my opinion, it just defeats the point of not doing, like, more. If you're going to make the episodes longer, then you could make it into more episodes of like an hour slots or like if you know if you have no ads 40 something minutes if they're an hour an hour and a half long then you could do twice as many episodes so i think they're still gonna be normal length maybe the finale might be sp something special but i don't know if the network or like you know fox slot will allow that but amaral Amin asks uh what when what gotham season five starts so i'm guessing she's asking when's it start um there was rumours that it would be March 15th, 2019, which is around mid-season. However, and even David Mazou said that on stage, like, tune in. This was literally at New York Comic Con uh, very, 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 very recently, like yesterday as when I'm filming this video. Um, tune in March 15th, and then he got told off by John Stevens on the panel because he was like, by the way, those are absolutely rumours. So, however, I did say I think there's truth between the two. Um, I think that is a provisional date, but it's not concrete, so... Yeah, I don't see how it's a, it's not really a massive drama. It's just like, when the holy heck is it coming out? Uh, I think, yeah, it, it, it might be fine for it to come out earlier, but we're going to have to wait and see. But it's going to be a long way away yet, guys. I'm sorry. So I'm going to make this the last question, guys. Unfortunately, I think we're nearing like half an hour now. Um, I will probably do another one. If Please don't kill me for um, not answering your question. Uh, but this is quite an interesting one as well. So Julia Birchall asked me, how do you think that they will uh, play Jeremiah and Echo's relationship out? Do you think it will be more abusive? Or do you think that it will be more sweetish? 
Uh, I think that they seriously might be doing the traditional kind of abusive Joker and Harley Quinn relationship. Uh, just because of what uh, Jer uh, Jeremiah, <laughs> John Stevens said recently uh, at Comic-Con, sorry, New York Comic-Con, uh, at the Gotham Season 5 panel where they revealed that trailer, is that Jeremiah has a new girlfriend. It's not the most exactly healthiest relationship. He said it was unhealthy even. Uh, so that indicates to me, obviously we, I can't confirm this, that it will kind of be that abusive relationship. I think that, yeah, I think that says it all. It looks like it won't be Swedish because just, you know, it, since these two obviously are homage or tribute to Harley Quinn, like the Gotham's version, uh, TV show's version of the Joker and Harley, it looks like through him saying that they don't have the healthiest relationship, it seems that it will be the abusive kind. But anyway, guys, that is the q and I hope you did enjoy it. As I said, I'm sorry if I didn't answer your question. I will be doing more. So I guess um, I, I won't post it right now, but I'll let you all know uh, when I post another Q&A uh, you know, request in my community tab on my YouTube channel. Uh, it'll be think of some questions right now, maybe write one down related to all the information we got from Gotham Season 5, uh, you know, New York Comic Con panel, because we did learn a lot about Bane, Alfred freaking breaking his back via Bane. So break the Alfred, not break the bat. Uh, but anyway, that is the video, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like on it if you did. Let me know if you even watched this whole video. That'd be pretty cool by typing down in the comments below. Alfred. No, no, no. Break the Alfred. That is random, but yeah, type that, break the Alfred, if you got this far in the video. Other than that, guys, links, as always, are in the description down below to my social media, like Twitter, and also, if you want to support the channel more, the merch links to the US and EU orders, and you can order internationally, of course, um, are in the description if you want to support the channel more, as well as my Patreon. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you, Got the Mites, in the next video. Goodbye.